In this video we're going to be looking at correlation and how we can describe what a scatter graph is showing us. So it may well be that you find that when you plot your points on the scatter graph that they look like they're going from the bottom left to the top right. And what that would resemble is positive correlation. So if you're going from the bottom left to the top right in what appears to be a relatively straight line, then we can call it positive correlation. If, however, you find that the points when drawn are all over the place, then we can refer to this as no correlation. There doesn't seem to be any correlation or connection between the two items that we're looking at, the two measurements. And then if we've got positive correlation, it makes sense that we also have negative correlation. A negative correlation goes in the opposite direction, from the top left to the bottom right. Now the closer the correlation resembles a straight line, the stronger it is, the stronger the connection. So what examples might we consider? What would we expect to find from these? So one example of positive correlation would be uh, because the body is in proportion, then we would expect that someone's height would reflect their shoe size. Because um, if a tall person has too small a feet, then they're likely to fall over. And so we would expect something like uh, height and shoe size, height versus shoe size, to give us a positive correlation. So in other words, the taller the person, the larger the shoe size. So positive correlation is referring to the larger the something, the more the something else. For no correlation, an example of that might be, for example, someone's age against their house number. So would someone with a house number of 238 be older? Or would people with lower house numbers generally be younger? And of course this makes no sense. So we would expect that if I collated that data and then plotted it, that there would be no correlation, the data would be all over the place. Finally, with negative correlation, something that we would expect that the more that we have of one thing, the less we have of the other. So one for this would be um, something like speed versus the time it has taken to travel. So the faster you go, the less time it has taken to get to your destination. So as one increases, the other decreases. Okay? And then we would expect to plot them in that direction. So this is how we can describe a graph's correlation. And if you're asked to describe a correlation, then it will either be positive, negative, or no correlation. Okay? So that is how we can work with this.